What's up, fancy beauties and bows? So, <laughs> I know I keep coming on here and I'm looking busted up, but um, it's okay. As long as the message uh, that's on my heart gets out. So, with this COVID-19, we've been given simple instructions to follow, right? And when it first started, I was like, okay, wash your hands for 20, at least 20 seconds. Wipe down your surfaces. Cover your mouth when you sneeze or when you cough. Throw the tissue away when you're done using it. And this message is played to us over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And I, I start thinking and I'm like, you know, the more I stay home and the more time that I had to myself, the more I kept thinking and I'm just like, Father God, what? This doesn't make sense. The, the precautions we're supposed to take that we're being asked to take to shield ourselves somewhat from being affected by COVID-19 is pretty simple, right? So I kept thinking, I kept thinking, and I'm like, no, that, that... That's too easy. That that doesn't make sense, right? Hold on, guys. Uh, I had to come and get Macy because she gonna start barking if I if she not in the room with me. Okay, so um So, you know, we always say God has a funny sense of humor. You know what I mean? We make plans and he, he shows us something else. And this situation kind of reminds me of the same thing, right, in a sense. And so I continue to think and I'm like, okay, most of us already do those things we already clean we already i mean because look at the number of ocd people that's out here me being one of them i'm like way over as far as being ocd is concerned right so i'm thinking to myself let me see I sit y'all up here so i can be free All right, so um, I'll just sit like this, right? Excuse the jammies. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm like, okay. We already do these things. I know I can speak for myself. I cover my mouth like this when I cough and when I sneeze. If I use a tissue, I discard it and I use sanitizer thereafter. So, that's when we have to start thinking beyond. Like, we really have to use common sense with this. And I'm not in no shape, form, or fashion saying to disregard the recommendations that people above my level of understanding because we don't have all details so and that's why I say that I'm not saying because you know because I know it's other people out there that's thinking the same way that I'm thinking I'm just putting it here on video so I get to thinking and I'm like okay no no there's it's deeper it goes deeper than that 
And that other saying, everything happens for a reason. Things that happen don't just happen. God is in control of that. And I know you guys are probably like, okay, Gina, here we go. Another sermon. It's not a sermon. I'm just speaking what I feel in my heart is the truth. And what I feel in my heart, God wants me to put out here. There's a reason that we're, we now have social media platforms where we can see each other. We can communicate with, with each other. We can share our feelings and our thoughts and our fears and how, how we all are handling the COVID-19 situation. And so we have to use that same mentality. You have to use that same thought process as to what is behind all of this. What, what is the lesson we're supposed to take away? So we go to school. You know, we went to school. We went to pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, second, third, all the way up. Some of us do college. And at the end of the course, we always had a big test we had to take. Right? We had SATs we had to take. PSATs we had to take. I still, all of those things. We have to take those tests. We're in the same situation, guys. We're in the exact same situation. We have taken the course of life. And now it's time for us to put what we know and what we've been taught by our predecessors and put those into play right now. We have to take the test. And we are on problem number one. Okay? And in order to pass this test, we have to go back to our fundamentals. We have to go back to the beginning. The beginning. Help me, Father, talk to these people and let them understand where I'm coming from. What you want us to know, what you want us to, to come out of this with. We have to go back to the beginning, he said. When, he, when we weren't here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He wants us to go back to the time when we weren't here. And understand. We're not here by happenstance. We're not here. We didn't just pop up. He, we are a part of his divine plan. Everything that has happened in life, in history, is a part of his divine plan. And he wants us to go back to the beginning before it was out of me. Before there was sun. Before it was rain. Thank you, Jesus. He wants us to go back. Imagine. Just imagine. Within your home right now. Within your thoughts right now. Go back. Use your imagination. Go back to your childhood. When your imagination was so pure. There was no evil. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Use me, Father. He wants us to use our imagination and go back to those days. Go back to that time. Use your imagination, he said. He's telling us to use our imagination. And remember how pure your thoughts were. 
what was considered right from wrong, what he told us was right from wrong. He wants us to go back. And then when we started to learn, when we when he made us and he gave us the sense of right and wrong. He wants us to go back there. And it's in there. It's in our hearts. It's in the core of us. And we just got to dig through all the mess that we've been through. We got to dig through all of that stuff. All the pain. All of the hurt. All of the bad parenting that we received. All of the bullying that we went through. He wants us to dig through all of that stuff. All through the fornication. Through the times you were molested. He wants us to dig through all of that stuff. When you were abused. When nobody loved you. He wants us to dig through all of that stuff. And get down in there. Get down in there of who you are. James, Jim, Bob, Richard, Tom, Sally, Brenda, Lisa, whatever your name is. He wants you to go in there. To that little girl, to that little boy. And he wants you to take this time to heal that little girl and that little boy. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Father. <laughs> he wants you to heal so that you can come forth and you can live the life that he planned out for you. And this is our time to do it. This is the time that we have to get back to our roots. Go back. This is not the time to fear. This is not the time to be scared. This is not the time for us to spread hatred and shun people away. This is not the time. That time is gone. It has left us. It's time for a brand new day. It's time for a brand new day. And I'm going to end the video right here. Because there's another video that he's put on my heart. And I will go into that video another day. But right now, it was so much on my heart these last few days. And I had to... I was always, okay, let me get the right moment. Let me make sure that, you know... My makeup is right. Or my hair is done. Or this or that. God said come as you are. And I'm coming as I am. And I'm coming to you. In my purest form. Right now. To give you. The message. That he wants us. To come away with this thing with. I love you guys. So very much. So very much. So go and get that little girl. Go and get that little boy. And take this time out. To have a sit down talk with them. Let them know. That is everything that bad was done to them. It's over. It's over. You can't go back. You can't undo it. You can't change it. It is what it is. It's time to lay that person to rest. Lay that little person to rest. And do the work and the will of God. Good night. And God bless.
be safe, stay home, and still do the recommendations that the experts are putting out here for us. And use your common sense.